seeking emancipation in a world that considered them symbols of family tradition with little to offer, women availed themselves of the skills they knew to possess to better their stations in life, making an enduring and important impact on the nascent country. Part of the Uffizi Gallery's mission of hosting exhibitions dedicated to women, Female Perspectives, Women of Talent and Commitment, 1861 to 1926, is currently running at the Gallery of Modern Art. The show focuses on the role of women in Italy in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, bookended by two specific events in the country's history. The enrollment of several women in the Artisans' Brotherhood in 1861, just after unification, and Grazie Deleda winning the Nobel Prize for her novel Canes in the Wind in 1926. As the exhibition states, these symbolic dates mark the story of the redemption of women's image and public role in the aftermath of the unification in Italy. Showcased here through works of art, photographs, and objects that illustrate the various kinds of work women performed, such as farm work and straw weaving. But it wasn't just peasant women who played a role in this new Italy. Educated upper class women found more freedom in pursuing careers in teaching, art, and writing, though their subjects were still often feminine in nature. It was in their salons, however, that women found fertile terrain for expressing their political and revolutionary thoughts, which were often just as legitimate as those postulated by their male counterparts. In 1861, the date of the successive unity of Italian ed è anche la data in cui una bella, un bel numero di donne, un grande numero di donne, si iscrive alla Fratellanza Artigiana d'Italia, che non è una sorta di società di mutuo soccorso, è proprio un'iscrizione per avere in qualche modo una tutela a livello lavorativo e di essere proprio una personalità che lavora anche giuridicamente. Diciamo che questa iscrizione è stata molto importante, perché in qualche modo ha definito il ruolo della donna come lavoratrice e sociale. Nell'autonomia c'era anche il pensiero che le donne dovessero essere comprese. Guardate che è un pensiero molto particolare in quegli anni, non è che tutti avevano l'idea che la donna dovesse essere un, una personalità anche giuridica e lavorativa. Anche è vero che noi abbiamo un esempio, e qui mi attacco dove conclude la mostra il 26, di una donna come Grazia Deledda che nelle montagne sarde ha fatto un libro che ha vinto il Nobel, la prima donna ha vinto il Nobel italiano. Anche è anche vero che l'idea, diciamo, il pensiero delle donne a volte è veramente straordinariamente bello, buono, interessante. AWA underwrote the catalog for this exhibition, Female Perspectives, and we really wanted to be involved because it's um, not restoration of artwork, but it's actually restoration of these women's stories. It's a period in time in which women were beginning to really develop their creative potential in art studios, in literary salons, in the workplace. Um, we're talking about the, er the early 1900s, the late 1800s, and so it really is a space of their own here in this exhibition.